What's up everybody, Shwari Richie here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be fun. I'm going to show to you guys how I dial in my high gain rhythm tone using my HX Storm by Line 6. So before we start, I need you guys to update your HX Storm and HX Edit software to the latest firmware so you guys get all the latest features. I will be playing my Yamaha Revstar RS320 and plug straight to the HX Storm as my audio interface and to my door. So in this video, I'm going to use the HX Edit for demo purpose but also you can use the HX Storm to dial in the setting. Alright, so now let's get into it. So as you can see here, I have only five blocks, uh, which is the signal chain will be from here to here. This is my main input, which is the guitar. And I have my uh, noise get on here. So I leave the first block empty. And then I have my pitch, bass octave. I have my boost pedal. I have my amp and then split the signal to the uh, here is the delay and then the reverb so let's look at the first thing which is my M so the way to add a block you just need to press anyway like this and then select uh, what what uh, effects do you want to add so in, in this case I already have my M here M and cabinet so I'm choosing M plus cabinet. This one I'm choosing for this video, I'm choosing the Ref Gen Purple, which is the new update that Line 6 uh, gave. As you can see here, we have a lot of options to choose M and cabinet. So in this uh, demo, I'm choosing the Ref Gen Purple and it sounds something like this, only the M and cabinet. <laughs> That is a good sound already, which because I already tweaked the parameter here. So if you look at the drive, before we move to the next one, we, you look at the drive, I put it around 8, and then the bass around 5, mid around 6.5, and treble 5.5, uh, 5 .5, presence around 3, channel volume 7.5, master 6.5, and then resonance, I put it as the stock, which is the resonance 5. Uh, this is one of the things that I think this M is really unique. We have uh, aggression, which is for me, I guess it adds a lot of uh, gain and tight. So now we have on uh, around 1. So let's pull off, pull it off around 0. And then one. And then the, uh, the highest, two. Well, I guess that was too much gain for me. some sag to the M around 6 and then uh, and then the others I just leave it on so moving on to the next blocks um, I want to mention that I always put a boost pedal before the M which is uh, in this case I'm choosing the scream 808 which is sort of like a tube screamer tube screamer so here I have the let's on I have the gain around 4 
and in the tone six level around eight so now without the boost pedal and then with the boost pedal Wow, that is just like why I need for a high gain rhythm tone. So let's move on to the next pedal, which is uh, the delay pedal. So usually I don't uh, put into some parallel uh, uh, signal. I like uh, to be I like it to be uh, a wet signal and then another dry signal. So that is why I put some uh, uh, split split signal so this area will be straight wet i'm uh, sorry straight dry signal so i have my pitch i have my uh, boost pedal straight and then this is my split signal which is the wet wet signal so the first one will be a delay so delay i'm choosing the delay stereo delay so of course you can choose the mono or legacy so it is a video I'm choosing the stereo and then I'm just using the first one is just a simple delay so as you can see here I have the let's turn it on first so as you can see here I have the uh, not sing will be a uh, quarter cut, uh, sorry uh, cut, uh, dotted 8 sorry dotted 8 and I control the tempo using the third foot switch and then the feedback around 50%, mix around 35%, level a little bit just like a normal, uh, uh, the, the stock one, which is zero, scale is uh, 90%. So without the delay, and with the delay, it sounds super white. <laughs> That is what I like about stereo delay. All right, so it has the feeling like uh, you are playing some sort of like a uh, Satrani or Steve I. And then you can just pretend that uh, you are a very good player because the delay helped you to sustain a lot of notes. All right so so for rhythm tone i don't usually put a delay so it will be some sort of like a normal uh high gain uh shred uh tone so before we move on don't forget to subscribe to my channel on the notification button so you don't miss any of the new videos and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. All right, so we go to the next uh, wet signal, which is the reverb. I don't usually on the reverb for this uh, a high gain rhythm tone. I always leave it off, but let's hear what it sounds with all the signal uh, off first and then on. For the reverb, I'm using a Legacy whole reverb this one the whole reverb and then the parameter you can see here the dk i put around eight pre delay 100 milliseconds slow cut around 166 166 hertz high cut around 12.8 kilohertz and then mix around 35 percent and it sounds something like this <laughs> I don't usually on the reverb for uh, rhythm tone, but if I want it to be um, some sort of like effect on the uh, rhythm part, it will be something like that. Some sort of like, and I, I put the delay in front of it.
All right. So let's move on to the next pedal, which is the last pedal, which is I put the pitch uh, pedal or pitch effect and I chose the legacy bass octave. So bass octave is just a uh, octave pedal. So without it, and then with the octave, So as you can see the tone for the bass octave is around 50% and then a normal signal will be 100% which is from the guitar and then the octave effect will be 85% level is around I uh, just put it zero so one more time it sounds something like this <laughs> Alright, so uh, just keep in mind the bass octave, uh, this one is particularly this one, this is a uh, monophonic, which is you can't play uh, chords. It sounds uh, muddy. It depends if you put it in. Uh, oh. If you put it into a higher string, it can be usable. But I'm not sure if you are uh, using the uh, on the lower strings. I only use this uh, bass octave uh, as an octave pedal for me to play some riff. So let's put some delay. is pretty much of my uh, high gain rhythm tone uh, delay I off it first so now let's hear one more time <laughs> So that's the end and this is just my uh, personal prefer preference uh, I also uh, forgot to mention the uh, M the M cabinet of this uh, sound or preset I'm choosing just uh, the the stock that comes with the uh, ref gen purple of course you can choose your own um, cabinet which is you have uh, this is the M M and you can choose what M you want and then if you look at here you have plenty plenty of uh, cabinet choice here and I guess the stock for uh, from line 6 it comes with the 4x12 Kelly V30 sounds something like this <laughs> As you can see here, the mic uh, is 160 ribbon. Is uh, you have a lot of uh, choices here, which is the F uh, 57 dynamic. Uh, there's a lot of choices uh, for mic, and then the distance is the the micing's uh, distance. Uh, if you put it near to the cabinet, it sounds something like this. More attack, and then 
I just put the no uh, the, the the stock one, which I just follow the stock one, which is they put around three. <laughs> Cut the low around 80 hertz and then high cut around 8 uh, kilohertz and then this one I just put it like zero zero so it sounds sound something like this. Let's try to change the uh, mic for the the cabinet 57 a bit trebly. So I just stick to the this one 160 ribbon mic. Let's play some riff. <laughs> that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys like the preset uh you guys can email me i will put the links in the description below uh, don't forget to click the like share and subscribe button leave a comment down below stay safe everybody and i will see you guys in the next video